Hello world, I'm Rich and it's Rich's World Beer Tour. Another holiday review coming at you probably mid-January. Hey, today, today, now that we're into our fourth or fifth review, Barrel Aged Libertine. Little uh, Minnesota Monday here from Fulton in Minneapolis. It's their Imperial Red Ale, but this has been aged in whiskey barrels for a year. Uh, bottle 651 out of 2160. And Fulton's been around that long. Fulton's been around uh, more than, oh yeah, they've got some stuff there. Uh, coffee Stout, uh, it's just an absolute knockout. 8%, uh, 8.5% ABV, 45 IBU. I don't think I've ever had Libertine, so I don't know what... That will not be very bitter. I don't think uh, it's a 45 IBU. 45 IBU. We got Matt here. Matt, uh, we're, uh, by the way, for uh, baseball and everybody in the NCAA, this was filmed on Christmas, so he's within NCAA rules. Hopefully that gets you off the hook. He's off the hook. I'm going to pour this aggressive. Pass it around. That is... Nice little, uh, look at that, nice little alcohol legs. The, uh, it's, it's almost a uh, root beer brown with a little bit of red around the edge. A little bit, yeah. We'll let Pete uh, get the final, uh, let me just look, little tap here. Really a dark red. It's, it's murky, murky ready brown root beer. Wow! It's root beer. Get a nose on the head's holding up real well. Well, I'll see. Oh. We were playing it, and then my brother was like, oh, Tell me what you got. <laughs> I was like, yeah. I get this brown sugar here. Dark, dark the, roots. the barrel brown sugar again. Okay. We've got uh, a hell of a uh, uh, section back here. A bunch of grumpy old men uh, kind of yelling at us from the back. <laughs> we are not. Oh, it is. It's caramel. Totally caramel and barrel. Is this like two Yeah, yeah, yeah. Caramel, barrel, brown sugar. Give it a try. Cheers. It's the Halloween one. It starts out with like shells and candy. It tastes like the lab or whatever. And then Leonard comes from behind the white. That is a lot of whiskey. This is one. Yeah. Real well, it finishes with that whiskey sharpness on the roof and back of my mouth too. This one, uh, is, this is whiskey. Yeah. Right up. It, it's it's a powerful whiskey taste. Not that it's bad. I think. Oh, no, it's definitely smoothed by the beer, but it's it's got that. It's a stronger whiskey flavor. That's I think, for sure. Uh, I think you hit it there. I'm looking for some of the red ale things, some of the caramel, some of the yeah. some of the things yeah. that I smell. And the whiskey is masking the beer. Yeah. The whiskey yeah. is really intense on this, and taking that red ale, which I've never had Libertine. Sorry, Fulton. I've never had Libertine, and it's. Probably a good beer. I just I can't taste it under here. This is a I know there's beer in there, but it's mostly this whiskey, this great caramely whiskey, oaky barrel. Um, vanillas. I mean, it's all the the tannins and the things from the barrel itself. Are you getting? I'm not getting much body out of it. Not real thick. Mm -hmm. Kind of comes and goes fast. It does. Yeah. It does. It, which is, you know, some sometimes. It's, the beer itself is so full body. Whiskey coats your mouth. You know, this slides right down. A little hint of whiskey at the end, but otherwise it's gone. Ready for the next sip. Yeah. Clean, clean beer, not heavy, cloying. Uh, it's not overly sweet. It's just boozy. Yeah. It's just boozy. Not, not a tremendous amount of beer. I wonder how this would, uh, how this would be in a, a year or two after sitting in the cellar, kind of mellowing out a little bit. If the if the beer would come up and the, the whiskey would drop. I would hope so. Well, this is going to be one, um, my wife is so. a, a dark booze lover. Yeah, for, that I think bad, she's going to like uh, this one. She's going to love uh, sipping on this beer uh, uh, when we get off camera. Uh, how about some reviews? Uh, I'm going to go with an 875. I was going to go 8.5. I mean, it's a, it's a real nice beer. 
I just wish that that whiskey was toned down a little bit. I don't know if nine months in the barrel takes it down or if you got to have a stronger beer to stand up to the to the barrel. I don't know. Anyways, hey, if you've tried it, it's mostly a local beer, gang. So if you're in Minneapolis, put some comments down. Um, I'm, I'm sure by the time I release this video, it's going to be uh, long gone. But uh, as of Christmas here, I know there's uh, three or four up at Haskell's and Chan. So uh, if you tried it, put some notes down below. Thanks for sharing another beer with us, world. Merry Cheers. Christmas. Welcome to the welcome to the tour, Matt. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Cheers.